Hey guys, if you want, good morning. If you want to just grab your, your lab coats from around the corner there, come on in. We've got uh, pipeline running and some other experiments too. This is the Allen Institute for Immunology Lab. So this is on the fifth floor of the Allen Institute building. So this is kind of our main um, pipeline type of lab. We got uh, 24, I think 25 samples from a, a COVID study at Fred Hutch. So it's so white blood cells, T cells, B cells, monocytes. What our role is, is basically thawing the cells, counting them and making sure that, that the viability is good. And we have enough cells to go into all of our assays. So from a single vial of cells, it's kind of get divided up with all the different technologies and the different workflows we have in here. We get to look at proteins, at the messages to make proteins, as well as the open structures of chromatin in the DNA. Uh, Cole is gonna take out for single cell RNA-seq. Then we come over to Charlie and, and Tiana, and they're gonna be taking out for the flow stimulatory panels. So we're just washing the cells with a saline solution. And then we'll take it, and then we'll add it to our first set of wells. So these lasers are good to go. Now the power's on, the lasers are turned on. Well, really lasers help us take advantage of light intensity, and light intensity is really at the core of what we use to look at individual cells. Because these cells, we care about them, and we care about what receptors they have on them because they have different unique functions. And we have antibodies that are specific and will only attach to one kind of receptor. And to the antibody on the receptor, we can attach a little sparkle so that when light hits it, it shines at a certain wavelength. And this machine has a bunch of different detectors that will recognize that shine and will log it in the computer. And then we know that this cell has this kind of receptor. So it's easy to transfer what we learn from one technology to the other technology because we're all starting from the same source. Usually you'll find that labs are very, very good at flow, very, very good at molecular biology, very, very good at cell thawing and counting. What we do here is everybody's in the lab at the same time and it's, it's, it's a lot of cross-pollinization, I think. 